Next, group together the movies you want to burn in the video editor. All movies which are opened in the window menu are taken into account during the burning process. If you would like to be able to control your movie via remote control, you have to place chapter markers. Place the start marker where you'd like to have it and choose the option Chapter Marker from the Edit menu. If you select the option Automatic Chapter Markers, a chapter marker is automatically placed at the beginning of every scene. Once all chapter markers have been placed, switch to the Burn CD program area. Choose a fitting menu template for the start menu. To change a movie title and chapter headings, double-click the names. If a movie consists of more than one chapter, you can choose which chapters appear in the menu. Place a blank disk in your burner and click on the Burn Disk button. Select the kind of disk. You can transfer your movie directly onto a DV device. This takes place in full screen mode. To do so, you need a DV camera or another DV device which is turned on and attached to the DV serial interface. Select the Output Audio Video to Device option in the File menu. Select your device from the drop-down menu and click OK. Your movie can be directly transferred to a camcorder or video recorder. The transfer to VHS takes place in full screen mode. A video or graphic card with a video output is required. Select the Output Audio Video to Device option in the File menu. If you would like to transfer a movie from your computer to VHS without much editing, choose the first option Play Full Screen. If you edited your movie with effects or cuts, you should first render it. This means a new video file which can be played back without any shaking is processed from the media files and the project settings. Before playback begins, another dialog is opened, in which you can set resolution and color depth of your monitor. Choose the correct settings for your monitor. Switch your VHS device to record mode and click on OK. You can export your movie in various formats with all effects, titles and transitions. The file menu gives you an assortment of practical export formats, such as MPEG video and Windows Media format. In addition to the video format, you can export the soundtrack as a separate WAV file. You can export the picture which coincides with the start marker as a bitmap in BMP format or JPEG. For most formats, you have an assortment of setting options for the corresponding codec. Have fun with your videos, your Magix team.